I'm going to be making a pimento cheese spread. You can eat this on crackers. You can eat this on as a sandwich. So let's get started. You're going to need a 4 ounce jar of pimentos. So I'm going to drain the juice off. Okay, let's put it all in here. And then we're going to mash them. get a fork and then they'll mash better. finish mashing them and then I'll be back. Right, so I mashed them and I drained some more of the juice off of it. Um, put a couple of shakes of pepper, black pepper. A shake of uh, garlic. It doesn't take much. Garlic powder. And then a dash like that shake or two of um, Worcestershire Let's do some that could be smashed down but that's okay they're pretty much good okay so then you're gonna add one large onion now this onion has been chopped up and I just had in the freezer. Looks about a large onion in there. And then you're going to take 16 ounces of cheddar cheese and a tablespoon of mayonnaise. My mom used to uh, make us uh, pimento cheese sandwiches sometimes. Okay, we'll just kind of stir that up a little bit before I put the cheese in there. Okay, I just went on and measured it out for you. 16 ounces is 2 cups, so I went on and measured that out for you. And then all you do is you mix that in until it's well combined. And then you're going to put it in to the refrigerator. And uh, I mean, you can put it in a plastic container as long as it has a good seal. Just want to keep working with it until it's like a spread. I got this uh, recipe off of all recipes.
Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep working with this until it's a spread, and then I'll be back. When you're doing this, just when you're stirring it, mash down so that it will come all together. Just want to mash it down so it will, you'll be able to make it into a spread. Gonna, it's going to take a few minutes to get it good and done. It's starting to look good. Okay, so it's done, and you just want it a wet consistency of this is how it should look. I just want it combined really well, and then just store it in a container. And you can you you like I said you can eat this with crackers you can eat it with um, as a sandwich um, you can use these pita chips or bagel chips or whatever you want to eat it with but make sure you store it in a airtight container though in a Try this with um, one of my pita crackers. Mmm, that's pretty good. Now, let me tell you, don't add any salt to this because if you add salt, then it's going to be too salty. Okay. So that's how you make pimento cheese spread. If you're not subscribed, I hope you'll subscribe and click the notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload a new video. Thank you for watching. Bye.